Next on Art Street, South Florida's most celebrated blues band, Ico Ico. After more than 30 years of live performances, this award-winning band gives us a lesson in the blues. There's a, a tremendous amount of freedom in blues. Uh, it, it's almost unca uh, it's hard to categorize. And just the openness, and also Dylan was a big inspiration, as was, you know, all the, all the bands of the 60s, every, every major band had a blues set, whether it was the Jefferson Airplane or Cream or Hendrix, all of that. The, the, the one thing in there that connected everything that I liked about music was the blues. Just like it didn't matter, just like it didn't notice, just like I didn't see a thing. So when you St. Louis. And then when I, I dug deeper, when I saw Willie Dixon's name on everybody's record uh, label, and all the song credits, well, Willie Dixon pretty much wrote the entire blues rock catalog, and it's covered by every artist. And so that's, I thought, well, this, that's what, and it really touched me. It really, I, I can feel that when I when I start listening to blues I can I can immediately respond to the uh, rhythm of that and the lyrics are just terrific you get the, just the honesty and the storytelling and the, the straightforwardness of the old Delta blues I hear a certain sound in my, my head when I'm laying down the lyrics I hear a certain sound but this is a band and it's like I love bands I love groups that, that um, like the Doors or, or just people have a certain sound the Rolling Stones you know, things like that, rather where it was a group effort, where if you took one person out of that combination, it was a whole different thing. And that's what I like about Ico Ico, it, it, when it's, it's, a, it, it's a sound that these guys create. And um, so I, you know, I bring the stuff in and I see what sound, you know, what, what the band does with it. And that's, that's the best part. On the keyboards, Ron Taylor. Daniel East on the drums. Mitch Mestel on the bass. And we have John Wenzel, good rocking Johnny Wenzel on guitar. And I met John at a party back in 1978. It was a CEO, 78, down in Homestead. And he was sitting on the floor with a, 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 with a guitar with this other gentleman named Bob Hemphill playing harmonica. And there was another guitar there, and I said, can I play with you guys? And I had, no, I had no idea that I'd ever be a musician or play in a band, but I could pick a little guitar. And I love blues, and these guys love blues. Well, I just started just meeting at a, at a party, and um, they, these guys were, were just putting together a band. And they called me the next day, saying how nice it was to meet me and invited me out to, to a gig. And then the rest, is, uh, the rest is history. They couldn't get rid of me. It was like the camel in the tent. I just kept poking my nose in until I was finally in the band. And so here it is, all these years later, you know, 32, 32 years later, and John and I are doing this. So that's pretty cool. Whoa, what a day. Everything, everything seems so different since the old man passed away. So 
when the old man passed away. My success and my, my longevity, my ability to continue doing this for 30 years right now, it's my love of, of, the, of what I do. It's, it's a passion and um, it's just been a constant you know, straight line from one end to the other where I just was able to get up and, and do this every day. And that's, and every, every day's a, a new day and every day's uh, something good. You know, I, I really enjoy what I do. For more information on ICO-ICO, check out their website at ico-ico.com.